Hey Pectus Warriors, it's Riley Byrne from fixpectus.com and in today's video I wanted to share with you one of the methods and techniques and superset combinations I utilize uh, with my clients in, in, um, in my coaching service. Uh, I program this a lot and uh, what it is, is it's a, it's a really good superset that's intended to activate and engage the inner chest muscle fibers uh, and kind of pre-activate them with the plate pinch press before going into push-ups. And it's a great superset as well because it requires so little equipment. You know, all you need is some like five pound plates or something like that. And you know, that would be plenty. And you don't really need to progressive overload per se on the plate pinch press. Uh, you just need to really focus on that squeeze and that contraction and activating those muscle fibers. A lot of my exercises I do, it's, it's, a, it's very much about form. Okay, it's about the way in which you ex ex execute the exercises, not necessarily just doing them. Um, and so that's a handy thing that my clients get as well in the app is they have video tutorials of me before doing every exercise so they can make sure they do it right. And then also there's a segment in the, in the new app that I'm now programming on. Um, there's a segment for each client to upload a video of them doing the exercise so I can look at it. And that's been really handy. So anyway, if you're interested in coaching, link is in description, but I'll get into this video. So what it is, we've got two plates here. They're two and a half kilos each, 5.5 pounds, and I'm doing the plate pinch press. Okay, these ones are really slippery, which is actually better for the plate pinch press because the plate pinch press, how we do this is we squeeze the plates together. You see that activation in my inner chest muscles? Do you see that striations where they're meeting? Okay, that's what we really wanna try and build with you guys. So we squeeze the pecs together to activate that. I'm already feeling the burn just from squeezing. The chest has two main functions, okay? Adding weight to the midline, which is what this is. That's what a cable fly is as well. So we're squeezing, we're adding pressure to the midline and then pressing away. So we're gonna do both. So squeezing, keeping that tension the whole time. Doesn't really matter about weight. As I said, it's about the way you do this. You can make this really fucking hard just with this weight. So squeezing as hard as we can against one another and then pressing out and then back and then out and then back, really slow and controlled. And really just trying to fill the chest with all the blood and feeling those inner chest muscles completely activating. Ooh, this is already starting to burn. So just squeezing. I'm gonna do 20 here, so bear with me, okay? So do as many as it takes to the point where you're like, I can't do any more. Okay, oh God. I feel like 20 would be good, but this is already getting hard. I hope you can see my chest getting more pumped as this set goes on. Oh, it's easy to do this easy guys, but you gotta keep squeezing. Oh my God. All right, that was that. And then we go straight into a superset with the push-ups. Now we've got these inner chest muscles activated. When we do push-ups, they're gonna activate more. A lot of you guys probably notice when you're doing your push-ups is you might feel it in your triceps or your arms or your shoulders. We wanna try and feel that in our chest and particularly our inner chest. So let's go straight into the push-ups. All right, so here we have the push-up. Again, form is really important on the push-up. So we wanna really make sure our core stays tight, our back stays straight. No, no arching like that or up. And we wanna make sure our chest hits the ground. We get full range of motion and we tuck our elbows in to engage our chest a little bit more. So as we press up, tuck your elbows in a bit. You should really feel your inner chest activating more now because of what we did before. And then I want you to just do as many reps as you possibly can. It's gonna be less because you're already fatigued. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. Okay, I obviously didn't do a hundred push-ups then, but what's important? It's not about the reps, guys. It's about you know pushing it to your limit, and then each week trying to get better at that, trying to get a better contraction, trying to fill that chest with blood. You know, pushing those limits, training to where it hurts. You know, you hear my, I'm already breathing heavy. You know, you got to push it, and that's where the gains come. But you got to fuel it then with the nutrition. And it's not just about you know one or two key exercises. This is an example of some great exercises to throw into a program, but it's about a program. It's about all the exercises, the combination, the way in which you then pair that with recovery and nutrition, and supplements and, and sleep and yeah, everything. So 
Too many people get fixated on what's the best exercise. I make these videos because they're informative and they give you good exercise to implement. But it's not just about this exercise, guys. It's about the program, <laughs> okay? But anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Let me know how you go with that superset. I'd recommend doing, you know, three to four sets and really trying to get progressive overload on those push-ups and just really trying to contract the chest and the plate pinch press. Um, and yeah, it should be great. And guys, before I go, uh, if you do want to fix your pectus, remember the link is, in, link is in the description for my coaching. It's honestly the best thing you can do because then you're going to get a program fitted to you, your pectus, and make sure you completely transform. And it's not just your workout program. It's my coaching, my accountability, nutrition, stretching, everything. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Ne next video. If you like this, remember to give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.